Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, our main focus is to explore and try to find more of the Iron Nuggets. Now, it's been a few hours since I've last played, so I'm hoping that we can just go to all the stones that I know of and just hit them again and maybe they'll have more stuff to drop if we're lucky. Uh, oh, I never picked these up, let me go and do that. And we'll also, of course, be trying to earn up a lot of Nook Miles. One of my main goals is if we get, you know, a good chunk of Iron Nuggets, maybe I can also make a mirror. I know I need to, oh, not do that. I do need to pick up, I think, about 20 weeds to sell those. So there's a lot of Nook Miles things I wanna do because I wanna get a mirror. I want to make some new hairstyles because I wanna see what they have. I'm really excited to see all that. So we have lots of work to do and I wanna get right to doing it. Make the most of our time today. That should be a lot of fun. I don't really know, like today's sort of a bit of an experiment. Like I said, I played at like 11 a.m. earlier. Now it's 4 p.m. or almost 3.42. So I'm, I'm thinking like, wh what will change in that period of time if you stop playing? Will there be restored things? Will I be able to hit the rock and get more stuff out of it? I'm not quite sure. Okay, over this way. Let's see. Maybe, nope, I just got a bug out of it. Huh. Well, that's not the only rock around. There was another one right here and I was not dropping anything either. So it looks like if we really wanna get something like that done, our best bet in today's episode will be going to more islands, which means we'll need to earn up a considerable more about of um, Nook Miles. And that's where things get really tough. Really tough to find a balance, but we need to prioritize getting the Iron Nuggets more than anything else, because I think we'd still need like 11 or 12 more of them. I think we have 19 in total. How many weeds was that? That's 41, okay. I feel like sometimes when you pick it up, you get multiple which is fine, I just didn't realize. Anyways, let's grab a fish as well. Here, fishy. Of course, last episode, we finally got the museum opened up, so, oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> uh, we got the museum opened up, so I've been trying to focus on, you know, collecting whatever we can, really. But I don't see too much more, so you know what? We're going back up here, and we will at least sell these weeds. But yeah, I just, I really want to start up updating Nook's Cranny a little bit, and I thought the best way to do that, obviously, would be to <laughs> do the thing we need to do. We need to get all the Iron Nuggets, so. Um, first off, let's talk to you. Welcome, Zebra, how may I help you today? I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? I am, I don't think I need these flowers too much now that I think about it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and sell all this, uh, because I don't wanna run back to the house. And that will be 710 bells, okay, I'll take it. We're still chipping away at our mortgage. We've paid about, I think, almost half of it. And there are some Nook Miles coming in. Uh, so sell the clumps of weed, that'll be 100. And what else do we got going on? Pop balloons, spend bells to buy items, chop wood. The chopping wood should be easy. Planting trees, we can do. Grow a fruit tree, I don't know about that one. Um, but yeah, let's see how many Nook Miles we have at the moment. First, we're gonna redeem some Nook Miles. Uh, first on the ticket, Redeem 2,000 miles, or two, yeah, 2,000 miles for a Nook Miles ticket, thank you. And then I guess we should have enough at least for one of the extended hairstyles, so we'll work on that too. Your Nook Miles ticket has been printed. Please bring it to you to the Stripe Airport when you want to redeem it, I would love to. Yep, make another selection. So we have two options, we have top eight pop hairstyles and top eight cool hairstyles, and they should have descriptions. Change up your look at a mirror or vanity with these pop hairstyles. Book will be printed immediately upon redemption. And same thing with this one. All right, well, they're both the same price. I guess I'll just go with this one. Redeem 2,400 miles for top eight pop hairstyles. You bet. All righty. So we'll have to make a mirror. We don't currently have one. And that only requires one iron nugget. Huh, okay. I see, this totally makes sense. I learned some pop hairstyles. I bet I could change up my look with a vanity or a mirror. So you know, let's go and do that now then. Um, I'll have to, I probably should check DIY, the DIY panel to see what I actually need in terms of uh, the materials for the mirror. So, right over this way, DIY. And the mirror is, oh yeah, here's a new thing that we got last episode, that is the butter churn. I'm not gonna do that now, but good to know it's there. Uh, one iron nugget and three wood. So that actually shouldn't be too bad. Let me switch over to the stone ax. And we'll get our 10 wood right now. Got it. One, two, and three. Over this way, more the same. We can also get some fruit out of it. 
And, you know, we haven't run into a bee's nest or a wasp nest in a while, so I'm sure we're due. I gotta be careful of that. We can get one more. There it is. So that's already f six pieces, so. One, two, and three. Trying to just be ready at any moment for a wasp nest to show up. Same thing over this way. Okay. And there we got it. So that should be the 10 pieces of wood. Now I'll turn back inside and make the most of this. So one iron nugget piece. That's all I'm spending because I still need 30 of them in total. But that's where we have the ticket so that hopefully we can go out and get more stuff. So put that in storage. I think I need three of those. So I'll do that in just a moment. I'll take them back out. And I guess I'll put that in storage. Maybe some oranges as well. So. Yep, our storage like this. We have 19. Well, now we're gonna have 18, but I can't like just deal with one of them. Isn't that weird? I don't really like how that works, but that's how it works. I also don't need, the. Well, actually the manila clam will be good for uh, bait. So actually it might be worth it. So before I do anything more, I should go and claim the miles for the wood because you never know what might be next. And we could be making progress with that right now, you know? So always worth focusing on Nook Miles up this way, 150 of them. Cause we're gonna have to keep climbing until we get enough for another ticket. So catching bugs, so, you know, we can catch some bugs on our way back. And that's where it's like, it's really good to constantly um, grab them so that we can know what we can multitask with. And there were no bugs on the way, <laughs> but there could have been. So back into here, make a mirror, we'll change up our look for today. This'll be nice. And then we can of course eventually buy the other upgrade. That'll be cool. Yep, craft something with this workbench. Here it is, wooden table mirror. Let's do it. Oh yeah, we can tap A to make it go faster. A lot of you guys let me know that, so thank you. So we're done for now, that's all I wanted. Glad to have it. I really like how our house is shaped up. Obviously it still needs a whole lot more work, but we'll get closer to it every day, and eventually we'll be really happy with it. So back up this way. I am going to, oh, get this bug. This is just, oh, is it too far away? It might be, oh, now it's flying away even more. That was a, uh, I think a tiger butterfly. We've gotten many of them. I really do think we've gotten the majority of bugs we can find in this current season, it seems. So how do I wanna do this? Um, I mean, for right now, I'll just place it down. Place item. And I really, I wish that we had more room here. Like we could put one thing, oh, we can. Okay, never mind. So put it there. Perfect. And now let's like, look at ourselves in the mirror. Should I change up my look with the wooden table mirror? Change it up. So one thing I was curious about is now we have a whole selection of hair. Really happy about it. So we have like our four original and then we have another set of four. Oh, maybe even more than that. Wow, lots of options. Okay. Um, so we just sort of want to look through each one and see if there's anything I like. Or at least that I feel like fits me more. I feel like this is already a nice step in a good direction. Cause I'm not super fond of the hair that we had. It was just sort of the best option out of the selection. Hmm. All right then, I think out of all these, I think it's either that or this. I think this fits a little bit better, but also I wanted to see, do we get different hair selections if we change over? Okay, here we go. Um, no, I guess not. Guess it's all the same. Interesting. All right then, that's cool. No matter what, you get all the options. <laughs> Wait, that's not the hair I wanted. It changed back. <laughs> Hold on, change it up. There we go, confirm it. And there's also like a color pack, so I guess you could probably get more abstract colors, probably like deeper, uh, like and neon colors and stuff, if I had to guess. But I don't think I need any of that just yet, so we should be good. That's much better, I think it looks cooler with this hat as well. So I'm happy, that's all I wanted. Um, oh, we should have put all this other stuff back in storage, because at this point, I'm going to just go to an island, explore it as much as I possibly can, maybe find another villager. That would be great. I mean, I don't know when they're moving in, I just like to take their time with that. But for right now, put in storage. No. Oh, that's how I grab one. Okay. So, no, I don't want to talk. There's nobody to talk to, except for you guys, but I don't need to type for that. So, yeah, new island, we'll get there. Hopefully we'll find a lot of iron nuggets. 
So we're back at Dodo Airlines. We know the drill. Yep. So I want to fly. Yep, we're using that Nook Miles ticket. So I wonder, yeah, will we be able to find two new villagers in the same day? Like that has me a bit curious. Because this is like the, all the Nook Miles I have for right now. So I'm gonna have to earn up a whole lot more throughout this little adventure if we need to go to a different island. I wouldn't mind hopping to a couple, but it's gonna take some extra work. Because the other long term, like that always available Nook Miles, that usually give a little bit more. The thing with those is that they're usually, usually very long term, so deliberately doing them doesn't usually seem to be the best idea. All right, we are two down and docked on the target island, so we, we know about, all about this. Oh, and these are some different trees here. These are like pine trees. Very cool. Uh, and we have more inventory slots. So last time we uh, took these off because they sort of stack up, up to 10. Nice little way to make money, for sure. Oh, there's a little teddy bear over there, I think. Hi, oh, you might be a hamster. Oh, was so cute. So let's see what kind of, if we change to our stone ax. Yeah, we just get normal wood. I'm not too interested. We can find that anywhere. But this little, these little bits of flowers, these we can make more out of. So these bugs we have seen before, but once again, if we catch five of them, oh no, ready? Oh, got one. That's just a normal butterfly. But I got, I caught a common butterfly. And you, hold on, wait, yeah, <laughs> just before you went over there. And that is a tiger butterfly. Now what about you? You look like you're sort of just flying over the water for now. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Thank you very much. So that's already three down, two to go for that. I don't know if I'll be keeping those, I might release some. Oh, there goes my net. Oh no. So I'm going to have to do that as well. And that's where it gets really tough. I really need to improve my gear, but I have to get all the iron nuggets I can as well. Speaking of which, oh, come on. Come on. Come on. You're kidding. There we go, there's one. Is that all I'm gonna get? <sighs> one measly iron nugget is all it's gonna give me there. That is a shame. Well, we might as well grab what we can. Clay is still good, but it's just, it's not what we need. <laughs> is this as tough for everybody else as it's been for me? Or am I just very unlucky with the iron nuggets? Maybe there's a different way to get them that I'm just not super aware of. Anyways, um, if you could help me out here, I need more tools. So I just need a better net or just a new net. <laughs> it's not a better net. Sounds good. Utilize it or feudalize it. I'll do what I can to not feudalize it. So back out there. Where might be another rock here? Those are right here. Oh, there we go, that's one. Oh, come on, come on. Who knows when the shovel might disappear, you know? There's two. Ah, oh, that's it. Darn, so so far three out of this entire thing. That means that in total, we have 21, which is good, but not good enough. Oh, here's a message in the bottle. Let's open that up, uh, right over this way. To whomever this may be, I cannot stop thinking about this furniture I saw in a dream. So, I've turned it into a DIY recipe. I am compelled to share my recipe, so I've stuffed it in this bottle. Please, bring this recipe to life. Sincerely, Judy. All right. The pond stone. Huh, okay. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a pond stone. And there's a fish to catch, so might as well enjoy that a little bit. Well, he turned at the wrong time. I don't know if that angling will be good enough. Uh, no. Tough to get it exactly where I need it. But that might be good if he just turns a little bit. Or not, come on. This is silly. Jeez. Just like a slight nudge is all you need for it to be all wrong. Come on, he has to be going for that one. We can get it. So is this gonna be another sea bass or is it gonna be something new? Whoa! What in the world is this? <laughs> He's huge! I caught an ore fish. I hope I can catch more fish. I was not expecting that. Wow! How cool is that? I'm blown away. <laughs> Let's find more like that, shall we? 
and there's a butterfly flying right towards me. All right, well, that's gonna be another tiger butterfly. What in the world? That was crazy. Hopefully we do find more, because I would like to see how much that sells for, but I have to donate that as soon as we get back. Whoop. Oh, and there is another stone here that I'm going to make the most of. There's one. Stop doing that. Two, three, ah, uh, oh, that's it. Anyways, we get to talk to you. Hi, how are you doing? Wow, oh, her name's Apple. I didn't expect to see anybody on this island. Nice to meet you, I'm Apple. You're from Stripe? I've totes heard of somebody Tres cool who's from there. Maybe you know them, their name is Zebra, that's me. That's you? Wow, a pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still fab. Okay, can I invite you to my town? The only thing better than kicking back and chilling on an island would be to do it forever. Spending time on an island is the best way to find your inner calm and hug it as hard as you can. I, if I lived on an island, cheekers, I'd be the calmest, most relaxed hamster pop star you've ever met. Wanna live on my island? Move to Stripe? Oh my gosh, yes! I can move to any old, any old island, but this is way better since you'll be there. Aw. You hear that, world? I'm moving to Stripe. Yay. Okay, oh my gosh, moving. Okay, ah, so stressful, so much to do. Gotta calm down. Center yourself, Apple. Find your happy place, calm down. Whew, all better. So, all I've got to do to get this train going is start to Tom Nook, easy. I cannot wait to have a chic Stripe zip code. All right, well, isn't that cool? Get ourselves another potential person moving whenever they decide to move over. And is this gonna be a fossil? Oh, is that a bee? Hold on, let's get the fossil. Well, this bee is still buzzing. Or is that a wasp? No, you're kidding. It's so difficult to line up on the little Joy-Con analog six. Oh, wow, I tried. Hmm. So what is going on? Oh, can I not fit in behind here? Usually I can. I mean, at least I could in the last island, last episode. Oh, here we go. Ready? At least I got that. So yellow butterfly, no surprises there. But we do get our nook mileage a little bit farther along. 150, thank you very much. What else do we got going on? Catch an olive flounder. Now that's a bit more specific and where it becomes a bit more of a problem. But we'll do what we can. Maybe this fish right here is an olive flounder. Or maybe it's another giant ore fish. Here we go, ooh, come on. Come on, come on, come on. What's it gonna be? It's gonna be a sea bass. That's what I was expecting before. So I don't know if I need, well I definitely don't need these. Can I just plant these on the beach? <laughs> That's sort of funny. Um, I'll just drop it then. I mean, I've gotten six iron nuggets. That's at least some semblance of progress. And there's still another little half of the island over this way. There could be a another rock that I could use. Maybe not, because there's already been three of them. I mean, there is another one on the ledge over there that I can't quite reach, which is a shame, but I'm doing what I can. Try that again, whoop. I almost made it up there. That would have been crazy. Come on now. Just turn a little bit more. Not happening. But yeah, if we have 18 back at home and we just got six, that means in total we'll have 24. So if we could go to another island and get another six by the end of today's episode, we'll actually have it done. That's our rock. All right. Aha, very funny. I haven't seen that before. Come on. I don't know what this guy's doing. He's trying to climb up the waterfall. Whoa! It's a black bass. Well, she seems very impressed. I like it. Whoop, <laughs> there we go. Is there a rock around here besides the one up there that I can't reach? I'm not expecting it. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. This is the one we already did, I'm pretty sure. But I'll check one more time. Yep. <laughs> so if I want any more, I'm going to have to uh, get more points. So we're gonna keep at that. Maybe I can find an olive flounder somewhere in the water, but more than likely I'm gonna have to do some of the other nook mileage stuff. That's fine. I mean, some of it I can do, like planting the tree, shouldn't be too big of a deal. Spending some more bells. While I'd like to save some, I can spend some. Here you go. Got it. 
Ooh. So that's a dab. How's our inventory space? It's okay. Maybe I don't need these. Maybe these won't be worth the wait. I really have no clue. And I don't think I need rocks, really, but I'll, I'll wait and see how much my inventory fills up. I'm glad we got a fossil, though. That was good. I could probably stack up on some coconuts, though. Anyways. Maybe not the best angle. Oh, hold on. Up. Uh, still not the best angle. He's he's just trying to be in a harder and harder spot, though. Okay, that was a little far off, but he still might do it. Come on, buddy. Wow, right away. Oh, okay, this is the other thing. This is an all, all flounder. Yeah, okay. Perfect. That was very fortunate. So let's go ahead and pull this up. Nook Miles, 300 right there. So we're, if we can just do a couple more, we already have it. So selling fruit. You know what fruit I'm gonna sell? I'm gonna sell coconuts. There's plenty of them to grab. There's two right there. I need to sell five in total, so let's hope that we can get exactly just that. Have some more tiger butterflies around. Actually, what is that one? Is that a uh, kite butterfly, I think? Well, let's make extra sure. Yep, paper kite butterfly. I'm very familiar with them at this point. So we're already up to four coconuts, and another big fish is waiting for us. hi -ya. no wait, hi -ya. Got it, oh, right in front of him. He can't deny that. Wonder what it'll be this time. It is another sea bass. I'm getting pretty quick at recognizing them. Oh, there goes our fishing rod. So now I'll have to spend another 100 points to get that back if I want to do any more fishing, which there's so many fish in the water now. As Soon as they realize, hey, Zebra doesn't have a fishing rod anymore, they go all in. Oh, well, we might as well pick some of this stuff up in the meantime. And I guess like if I have any extra space, I should probably just pick up whatever I can. I mean, not the oranges, because I can get those anywhere. <laughs> Getting over this way though. Shaking some of these. So that's all of the coconuts. Thank you. And a sand dollar again. So now if we want anything more, we're, we're gonna have to fish. Which I wouldn't mind doing, it's just, I don't know if I wanna spend 100 points on it. Especially since we only have one more inventory slot. Maybe we'll just leave it be. Is there like one more thing I can take? I mean, I guess I should take like a stack of one of these. I think I had most of the yellow. Seven of them, six of them, yeah, seven of them. Let's go for it. So we can sell those real fast. Well, there's a couple more I can grab. Because I think I can hold a maximum of 10. So having nine is still pretty good. Whee! Okay, Mr. Dodo guy, I'm good to go for now. I will be back. You'll see me later today. Ready to head home. Yep, as positive as it gets. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna head back home. I'll head over to the uh, Nook's Cranny and we'll sell some of this stuff. So we're back home, sweet home. And we're just gonna head right in. Actually, we haven't talked to Timmy or Tommy in a while. Feel free to chat with me anytime if there's anything you need to help. Uh, uh, you need to help you get used to living here. Help us Meyer Nuggets. <laughs> that reminds me, have you used the Nook Stop inside resident services? You should, even if you don't really need anything, accessing it once per day will get you some Nook Miles. And you'll earn even more miles if you use it multiple times, or multiple days in a row. Yep, we've been doing that. You have anything else to say? Uh, have you noticed how delicious the fruit on this island is? The overwhelming happiness I experience when I eat some makes me feel so energized. With all that energy, I completely busted a rock. Don't do that, I'm trying to find all these rocks. And then later I dug up a hole with a whole tree with a shovel. So apparently that's just something you can do. Uh, it makes me think eating this island fruit is the key to getting things done quickly. Well, that's useful for when we need that done. So I guess we really can dig up an entire tree. Something to keep in mind. Well, for right now. Well, actually, is there anything I need to do here? Not at the moment. And us is this for bells or is this for no, this is for bells. Okay, well, I might be able to get something here. Oh, that's a cute little trash can, I like that. Uh, sporty shades, different t-shirts, different shoes. I really wanna get this, but I don't know if I should spend that much money on it, especially since I am trying to put some money to the mortgage. Maybe I'll get a new shirt. I like this one. We'll place an order. 
That'll show up in the mail. And while we're here, maybe I'll put another $10,000 in for the, uh, the mortgage, the loan balance, loan payment, pay from pocket. <laughs> there we go. So 48,000 left to go. We'll get there, we'll get there. And speaking of which, let's make our money go up a little bit by buying from you. Welcome Zebra, how can I help you today? I want to sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? I am offering at the least two sand dollars, all of the butterflies, the black bass, coconuts, olive flounder, not the ore fish, but this, and all of this, I keep double clicking it. Sounds good to me. So we did have an extra inventory slot, or did we? I don't know. Um, Yep, we're on the numbers. 7,160 bells, that's pretty good. I'll sell it. And that should be at least one of the Nook missions done. Yep, back over this way, selling the fruit. And now we have enough for another ticket if we want. Plant flower seeds, only three of them. So that's actually pretty affordable. So plant trees and flower seeds. We're gonna do that right now. I don't think we can control planting a, a fruit tree unless planting fruit is what we do for that. Um, what's for sale? So what I wanna do is, yo, yeah, let's do the red, high, red wind flowers. Um, I'll do one, because I just wanna buy five in total, so. I don't have five in total, three in total, so I'm just gonna buy another one. Just one. And then one more. There we go. So since I haven't had a pine tree, we might as well do a cedar sapling. Just one. Okay, so that's everything I need from you for right now, but that definitely helped us jump up a little bit because we're trying to, trying to spell, sell or buy a lot with bells. <laughs> Getting all the words mixed up. So let's get back to it. I'll also shake an orange tree. Perfect. So where do I wanna plant these? Maybe somewhere on the other side. Cause I feel like there's a lot going on around here. Hmm, this seems like a good spot. So we'll get our shovel out, and do a little bit of digging. For this, what do we wanna put down? First, let's do the cedar sapling. Then, maybe just right next to that, what if I put an orange in? Plant one. That works, okay, that's gonna be double. So I didn't know if we had to fully grow it or if we just had to plant it. I guess we just had to plant it, even though it says grow. So there's that one done. Here's another 100 right there. And this is where it really stacks up. So planting the flower seeds shouldn't be that bad because I think I can just plant them. Do I need to dig holes up? Plant one, plant one, and plant one. Yep, there it goes. Super duper productive. Thank you very much. So now we have a couple more things to do. Sell clumps of weeds, catch fish. I gotta get a better fishing rod, but we'll get there. So for right now, look, I just picked up two. Yep. Maybe the bigger ones will give you more. Maybe, at least sometimes. And apparently there's some other Nook Miles stuff we can do, but it's not the Nook Miles Plus, so I'll check it out in a minute. That's not as time sensitive. So we're at 10, I need 20, so we'll just keep looking around for more. Thank you. And of course, it's also doubly helpful because we are cleaning up our town a little bit. We can look a little bit better with each one. And then jump across with the vaulting pole. Wee! Where are some more weeds? We've actually got this area quite cleared out. So before we move too much forward, I do think I will uh, put away some of the stuff that we currently have. Mostly just the, what is it called? The um, iron nuggets. Ah, oh, we're so close. Like we could do it with this next island. Right now, put in storage, put that in storage. Same thing over here, get that clay in there. And the oranges, I'm not gonna use them for anything else. Hmm. 
So we will have to get a fishing rod, but I might as well wait, I guess. I mean, no, I could, I could buy one. I probably want to buy one with bells more than I want to buy one with uh, nook points. So maybe I'll buy two. <laughs> and then we can also send in that ore fish. I can't believe we caught an ore fish. So that was so cool. Cause I just like, I was not expecting that. And then we'll also be able to find out about the fossil. Hey buddy. Hoo-hoo, we should do the fossil first. Assess fossils. So hopefully this is a repeat, or not a repeat. If it is a repeat, we get to sell it though. And maybe for some major money, depends. Let me see here. Hmm, indeed. Hoo-hoo, this is most assuredly a Diplo pelvis. Superb indeed, splendid, a rare fossil we do not have yet in our collection. All right then. Uh, yes, I'll donate it. Short presentation on the topic, sure. Let's hear more about the, dip, the Duplo, Diplo pelvis. Wonderful, this is a fascinating stuff, I assure you. Diplodocus, good old Diplodocus. What would we do without you? This stout fellow embodied all the best in dinosaurs. Those sturdy legs, that magnificent tail, and above all, that extraordinary neck. Did you know that its center of gravity was such, uh, was such that sitting up on the hind leg was probably easy? What's more, paired with its long neck, this ability greatly increased its reach for eating plants. Best of all, Diplodocus probably grew its entire life having no adult size. With that, uh, that we, with that we are all so gifted. And that is what I have to say about that. Anywho, I've got to accept your generous addition or donation. Um, anyways, we do still have another thing to donate, and I would love to hear more about the ore fish. So make a donation. Right over this way, boom. Hooty hoo, this must be an ore fish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about your ore fish? Yes, please. The ore fish is a long eel-like fish that can supposedly reach up to 36 feet in length. They appear in various legends such as, as things like messengers of the gods. It seems to me a creature like that could explain the myth of a massive ship crushing sea serpents. It is of course well documented that pro people tend to exaggerate the size of the one that got away. And there you have it, fascinating stuff. No, very fascinating. So there we go. We now know a little bit more about the ore fish. Uh, and yeah, another fantastic addition to the museum. I'm fine, I'm leaving now, but good to see you today. Hope you're doing well, Blathers. Enjoy your nap, as I'm sure you'll be going back to now. <laughs> so will he be awake during the nighttime? We'll have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, now we're going down this way. We will sell the weeds, buy a new fishing rod, maybe buy two, just to keep our bases covered. Maybe I'll buy another net as well. Hello. I wanna sell, because we have over 10,000 bells, which is pretty good. We can work with that. This is the only thing we need to sell at the moment. 240, hey, better than nothing, because I think we had 24, so it's like, it's 10 bells per weed. Honestly, a pretty good conversion, considering. So, what's for sale? I need to buy a new net. You know, I know I just bought one. Good to have another. and then two fishing rods and maybe a shovel. Like I know it's gonna be taking up a lot of inventory space, but I really wanna make sure we don't run out of this stuff while we're out on the island and have to spend nook points because I need those even more right now to just make sure that we keep going to islands so that we can keep getting the iron nuggets. I just hope we can find another six on this next island. If not, we're gonna be in so much trouble because I'll have to do all this again. Anyways, there's that. And I should have enough, if not now, after these nook miles to buy another ticket. So I already do, but here we go. Oh, that was of my 5,000, so we get 200 right there. And then over this way, we got that. And now we have to probably catch a specific, a bagworm, which I've only found one of. Complete three DIY projects. That's gonna be a bit of a pain, just because using materials isn't always the best. But for right now, not gonna worry about it. Nook stop, get another ticket, redeem nook miles. So yeah, two trips in one episode. That's pretty cool. We haven't done that yet. Redeem. So will we find another villager? Because I'm just inviting. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm inviting them because I just, I can't say no. Every villager is so adorable. And they're also nice. Like, why would I say no? Would you make, make another selection? No, thank you. You're welcome. 
So heading out of here, we still have the other Nook Miles to redeem. Let me do that now because I keep forgetting. Okay, Nook Miles. Fruit Roots, ooh, so Stripes Local Fruit. Oh, okay, so you got title keywords. I'm a little confused by this one. Stripes Local Fruit Delicacy is a wonder to be sure, but if you plant new varieties, guess what'll happen? Correct, you'll grow some some Nook Miles. What, what you do with the fruit after, that is up to you. So I guess we can plant some different ones, that'll be good. Um, you work extra hard to keep our island clean, even going as far as to fish out trash out of our lovely water, so you're getting some Nook Miles. Okay, so that's good. So we're working towards a lot of stuff, and some of these are still blanks. So like, we have no clue what they'll end up doing. Anyways, we have the ticket. I have some extra gear. I think we're good to move forward and hope that it all works out. I hope I can find a bagworm. Maybe now would be a good time, though, to chop down the wood. If I can do that real quickly and then just get rid of it or put it in my storage so that I don't have that weighing me down while we're on the island, that's gonna be our best bet. Same thing over this way. Boop. Oop. Grabbing all this. And I think that I haven't gotten in trouble yet. That's good. And this is how we find the bagworm, though, as it falls from the trees. So hopefully we can figure something out. And that should be all 10 of them. So I just want to be able to get whatever's next up and ready. Okay and grow fruit trees again. All right, well, we've done it once, we can do it again. Actually, if we take, it's a good thing we're going by our house anyways, because if we take the cherry that we have in storage, we can use ah, one of those to uh, plant another fruit tree, and that one, of course, will, will be a cherry fruit tree. That'll be another for the other nook mileage thing. So that's why it's always good to do this and sort of multitask and get as much as we can done. So put in the storage, Put in the storage, because there'll definitely be oranges on whatever island, or actually, there, there'll be some kind of fruit. Might not be oranges. Hopefully, it's not oranges. <laughs> so, I just want one, but I can't do that unless I put it here. Grab one, and then put these two in storage. Perfect. Nice little two-for-one deal going on. because we'll be getting this one challenge, and we'll be getting two challenges done at the same time. Don't exactly know where I wanna put it. I wanna put this one in a more helpful spot. I might even just knock down a tree, but uh, I don't know. Let's just put it here. I will probably move some trees around at some point. That would be nice, but plant. Perfect. And that should be doubled up. So first off, claim that one for 100. Plant flower seeds. Oh gosh, not another one. But if I look down like this, yep. Now we got fruit roots for the cherries. So we just need four more. One of which has to be coconuts, right? Coconuts, peaches, apples, pears, I think are all of the remaining ones. So if we run into more coconuts, I need to plant one. For right now, I'm leaving it be. I could go and plant more flowers, but the problem is, oh, praying mantis over there. I have not found, and a ladybug. Okay, get the ladybug or get either of them, really. But if I could get one without scaring off the other, that'll be quite the feat. There we go. Wow, yes, I caught a mantis. Mantis is just so cool. See, the, the flowers will attract bugs we've never found before. There we go, yes. I caught a ladybug. Sorry to disturb you, ma'am. So. Can't believe that, that is awesome. And we can just donate those to Blathers right, right away. So like I said, still, the game is packed full of distractions. Always trying to capitalize on every little thing. Okay, so he's not gonna be happy about this one. He doesn't like the bugs, but we gotta donate a Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Uh, ladybug and a Mantis. Ooh, ooh, several things I see. Let us take a look, shall we? Splendid, we will gladly take these off your hands. Ah, no need to pull them out. Okay. Nope, that's all I wanna know. And we're gone. So that was awesome. Two more things for the donations. I've seen those around, but I've never really seen them in a way that I can reach them. So I'm just, I'm glad we could have gotten that out of the way. And that's why the flowers are super useful. They attract bugs we don't normally find. So over this way, we're gonna go right back to it. We'll go to Dodo Airlines, we'll fly off to a new spot, 
Same song and dance as before. So we're back on a new island. Let's make this one count. Cause I need six more, right? I think so. Whoa, look at all these flowers. Wow, look at this place. Oh, this is wonderful. Very serene and a rock. I have a good feeling about this rock. One. There, okay, there's one. Two. Three. Four. Ah. Uh, five. Ah, uh, that's it. But that's so good. We only need one more. Oh my gosh. Okay, keep going. Pick all these up. Look at how pretty this island is, though. Wow, I love it. And here's another rock just waiting. Just waiting for us. Come on, we just need one more. There it is! Okay, we finally did it! I can't believe it! It's a dream come true and it keeps on giving! Okay, that's all we can get from that. Wow, I'm so happy. So we'll definitely be able to finish that and upgrade Nook's Cranny at the end of today's episode. In the meantime, though, we got other things we can do. I wanna get these pink ones, because there's a bunch of those. If we can get at least 10, that's like, you know, a full stack. Very pretty. And this, you know, island is looking like it's full of fish. So I definitely wanna do that. But you know, while we're here, we might as well make the most of as many rocks as we possibly can. So we can pick up two more of these. Because my shovel hasn't broken yet. I have a feeling it might soon. Because this, this shovel's been lasting us a while now. There's that. A little bit more. And that's it. And there it goes. My trusty shovel. It has been going for a long time. I can't complain about that one. Can't believe this island. Quite the turnout already. So there is all of that. Don't run around too much because we don't want to scare off the fish that are over there. And I don't need a ton of coconuts. Well, actually, I should grab as many coconuts as I can because I think they sell for pretty well. But we need to bury one of them so that we can make a palm tree back at home. There we go. And there is another rock waiting for us if we do want to get another shovel. But for right now, I want to go fishing. Um, Not what I wanted. Here we go. Just, just switch to the fishing rod. I just love all the flowers, too. It's so serene. Oh, come on. He turned away the moment it landed. The only problem with this one is that there is going to be some scared away when I catch some of the others. Is it just the angle, or why are some of them darker than the others? I think it's just the angle. Yeah. Are really none of them interested? Come on now. Okay, you gotta get this one. Ooh. Come on. Oh. That's it. So this one is, well actually, that's a carp. Cool. I haven't found too many carps, so that's always good to, to find one. Let's try to get this angle just right. No! They're, they're so sassy. They keep turning around. They know what they're doing, too. Oh, who's gonna get this one? Oh, okay, he scared his friends away, which is a total shame, so you better be good. It's another carp. All right, well, we got it. I'll take a little run around because there is more on this side. Oh yeah, a lot of them pop up so fast. But they're so tricky. They turn around a lot. They have very little attention spans. Come on now. He's so picky. He wants it right in front of him. Oh, come on! I'm getting one of you. Maybe I should just get one of these two. That has to gotten, have gotten one of your attention, right? Oh, wait. Come on! Really? You're right there. Wow. I've never had the fish give me so much issue like this. This is on top of him. He's like, huh, what's on my head? <laughs> Come on, turn around, do something. There we go. Ah, oh, it scared the other big one away. That's fine though. And it's another carp. It's just like a little carp pool, indeed. <laughs> a pool of carps. Whoop. That's a little too far out for this guy. Trying to find the best thing. He's like way out there in the center of it. And he's still turning around. Okay, ready? Go for it. Dude. Oh, this might be another little tadpole. Okay, that's got one of them. 
Come on. Yeah, it scared the other one away. I was I was expecting that. And a third time in a row, it's a carp. Surprise, surprise. Oh, there's a, there's a whole host of them over this way now. Whoop. Not quite right. Aha. Now this will probably scare away the both of them over there. Yep. What a shame. Another carp, another carp. What is a smaller fish then? Because it seems like this medium sized fish is the same every time. But hey, that was, was that five fish? Yep, five fish, 150 points. And spend bells to buy items, not gonna happen. At least not right now. So honestly, I don't know if too many of these will actually be finished right now. Unless I wanna make a shovel with some materials. We'll have to see. Well, what do I need to make a shovel? Um, there we go. I was gonna say, why is it not working? Let's craft. Just a flimsy shovel. I don't want to go too crazy with it. Hardwood. So I can do that. It might be a pain to earn up, though. Might not be worth my time. In the meantime, though, yeah, let's go to the ocean. Oh, there's plenty more fish waiting for us. At the least, what I want to do for the rest of this is to fill up my inventory. So we kept <laughs> a sea bass. The variety of fish is definitely settling down. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but like I said, as we play this game more and more over the coming weeks and months, there'll be more stuff again. That's what's sort of really fun about it, is it's it's like a living and living, breathing world. Because as time is going on in the real world, time is going on in the Animal Crossing and there's more things to do. So there we go. We got ourselves the dab. And then over this way, this tiny little fish. This could be something interesting at the least. Come on. <laughs> one more, one more. Two more. You got it. Oh, hey. It's a uh, horse mackerel. I don't think we've gotten that before, actually. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, now there's plenty of fish back here. They populate the area real quick. And these are a lot of the tinier fish. So you would think some of these are something that I at least have not caught out of this pond. But this angling is just not right. I don't know why the pond fish are so picky. There's a whole different breed. Here we go. Come on, get this guy. What's it gonna be? It's a can, yeah! Uh, and there goes my fishing rod. Glad I had two of them. This is exactly why I wanted two of them. <laughs> Probably just gonna get rid of that fishing rod, to be honest with you. Not the fishing rod, the, the can. I don't really need to make it into that little uh, greenery thing, just because we've already done that before. Okay, he definitely noticed it. It can't be a can this time, can it? Bunch of cans swimming around together. That can't be. It's a rock! Cans and rock, just a bunch of rubbish. Okay, well if this is another carp, I'm, I'm basically done. <laughs> I mean, I say that, but I would like to still fill, fill my inventory. Here we go. Oh, right away. Oh, there's another bee. We didn't get the bee last time. We gotta get this. Um, I got a carp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, not the slingshot. That's not gonna help. Yes! All right! I caught a honeybee. Ah, sweet success. I haven't caught a honeybee before, so that's new for us. And we still have more coconuts. Let's grab this, no. Don't try to get it with the net, that's unnecessary. There's another fish around this way, though. Okay, we got it. Then I can switch back to the, the thing. We have so many carps in our inventory. I'm just so glad we got 13 nuggets, and we could get more, depending. I mean, I should probably just spend the, the uh, Nook Miles on it because there could be more in that fourth and final rock. But first, let's get this guy. Well, there we go, another horse mackerel. Of course, mackerel. 
and then I am just going to drop this item. I mean, I feel bad because I'm just littering, which means it's probably going to end up back in that water. But also, it's a game, so <laughs> not going to worry about it too much. So, I need tools. If you don't mind, just give me a quick shovel. For 100 points, not too bad. Okay. So with this, we'll hit that last rock and see if we can't get some extra iron nuggets. I sure hope so, but you never know. So we got a flimsy shovel here. Oh, no, we already had a flimsy. Oh, I'm a dingus. I thought that we didn't have that, but we did. Anyways, here's a couple more. This island is fantastic. One more. That's it. Wow, that was great. I can't believe it. The game just sort of gave us everything we wanted right at the end. So with that being said, this is all sort of stocked up. I mean, I don't really need one orange Hykanath, so I'll leave that, and we'll catch one more fish. How does that sound? Uh, let's favorite it. Right there. And then we can equip it. Hold item. So I guess we'll go for another big fish. It's gonna be a carp again. But at least we know we can sell all these without it being a worry. Right away. Yeah, that's one way to say. Whoa! Is this a koi? Yeah, it's a koi! I don't know why it's so shy or such a bad speller. Wow, I can't believe we just called a koi fish. Alan Ichthyologist. Um, yeah, we filled in 20 more things, or 20 things in total for a Critterpedia. Wow, I'm so happy with that. Was not expecting to find a koi fish right at the end. Amazing, so that's something we're going to donate right away. Where is it? Right here. Super duper awesome. So with that, we are leaving. Uh, we're gonna go back home. We're going to donate some stuff, sell some other stuff, and expand the the uh, Tom Nook thing. So that's amazing, super excited. So we're back everyone, did you miss me? I hope so. So first things first then. We have how many right now? We have 16, so I'm not gonna worry about it at the moment, because we need to donate. So excited about that, though. We found a good chunk of stuff that we ended up donating in today's episode. Like, that's that's just good stuff. Hello, I know, I keep waking him today. <laughs> he must be a bit annoyed. So, make a donation. We didn't get any fossils. But as you can see, just the koi and the honeybee. More than enough to keep me happy. Woo-hoo-hoo, several things. All right, well, see you, Blathers. I'm seriously done bothering you for today. We'll see you another time. Unless something rare just pops up out of nowhere, but I highly doubt it. But yeah, koi fish is awesome. Wasn't expecting that. And the ore fish earlier. Super wasn't expecting that one. And I don't know if there's too much to organize in the storage right now. Like, let's see. Uh. I'll put this in the storage. Well, I have to put all of this. Well, actually, no, I'll keep it there so I can take some stuff out. I don't need the sticks. So that seems about good because everything else we're going to sell. All right. Um, keep pressing the wrong button, sorry. Uh, there it is. So take these out, move the pockets. Yeah, we have like, like 40 of them or something. So with that, we are good to move. Lots of stuff to do. With each episode, we, we get a little bit more progress, so what more can you ask for? Down this way. Hey guys, I'm coming in. So I can't wait for this. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be one of those things where we set it up and I'll be like, hey, well, come back in like three days and I'll be ready. So how can I help you today? First off, about building a shop. Right now we're asking residents for their donations. I'd like to donate. Yep, 30 iron nuggets, these are for you. We finally did it. Oh my goodness, this means we have everything we need to get started in our shop. And because you helped gather what we needed to start construction on the shop, we want you to have the honor. What is this honor, you ask? We'd like you, a key figure in making this happen, to pick out the perfect location for the new shop. 
All right, well, we'll definitely set up that up to finish off today's episode. Uh, place that shop construction kit wherever you like, and we'll get started on construction. I'm so excited to see the location you pick it for us. Me too. Uh, hi, how can I help you? Uh, I want to sell. So we're definitely selling a bunch of stuff here. The pink eye canvas, a bunch of carps, and I guess a horse mackerel. I guess I had gotten one of those before. Looks good to me. This should be a good chunk of cash, right? I would hope. 3,600, I'm happy with that. That'll get us up to 11,656. So one last thing, that is setting up the shop. I thought that was going to just improve what they currently had, this little get up right now in the tent, but it's not, it's something totally different. So where do I wanna put that? I'm guessing, oh, this nice open spot. I mean, it seems perfect. I feel like it's a little bit, maybe, maybe here would be better. Build here. Yeah, sure. Well, let me imagine it. Here we go. We'll get to see exactly what it'll look like, or at least partly. Oh, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. This is a good spot. Okay, I'll gladly take that. So there we go, Nook Incorporated, the Nook Shop is on its way, I cannot wait for it. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching, I'll see you next time, bye bye.